Okay, everybody, welcome back. Kind of an update, uh, some things to tell you and show you. So uh, let's get this ball rolling here. First of all, I found a new channel. Again, I don't know how to put a link in. I apologize. I am old and uh, don't know how to do stuff. So anyway, it's uh, T14438. I guess that's how you find it. I came across him by accident. It says uh, St. John Speed Shop on uh, a description when he when you look at one of his videos. But then when you go to his uh, his main thing about his page, it says T one four four three eight. I didn't catch his name. I looked at some of his videos. He has some, a lot of train videos, uh, real train videos, which are pretty cool. Uh, but you need to go check it out because he's got a couple builds there. He's got a 65 Ford pickup that Mobius Kid is his mo most current video about four or five days ago. And it's uh, really a very badass build. So you need to go check this guy out. He's only got 58 subs, so you need to give him some love. Again, it's T, as in Tom, 14438. If you have trouble finding it, let me know, and I'll see if I can uh, figure out a better way to do it. But anyway, there's that. Second, uh, I got a shop card. And it's okay to say this, because he says it all the time. It's from the fat man from Alabama. And that is Don's Garage. And he showed this card... And uh, the, the video he showed it on, I immediately said, I want that card. I had one card left. I said, I'm sending it to you to trade because that is a badass card. Uh, it's my favorite truck, and it's red, and uh, it's just a cool card. <laughs> it's just a cool card. And uh, Don, uh, the stuff you wrote on the back, uh, wow. Wow. Uh, uh, I appreciate it very much, and everything you said, if you can remember what you wrote, uh, goes back at you. Uh, uh, inspirational also to me. Uh, you helped me over some stuff. Your videos are freaking awesome. Uh, I learn a lot from you as well. Uh, I look forward to your stuff. Uh, you got all kinds of cool how-tos, and he's showing your old builds, and, and oh, it's, I, I love your channel, and believe me, thank you for the kind words, and back at you, my friend, because uh, you got a great channel, and uh, uh, I love it. So if, if it, you haven't been there yet, you guys got to go there, Don's Garage, uh, the fat man from Alabama, and uh, he's pretty funny, he's got some great stuff, so go check it out. And let's see, I think that's about it for that kind of stuff. Uh, so next up, uh, I got a finished build. And uh, you guys all remember this rare Chevette I showed you a few video videos ago. A SS Chevette. Uh, you guys remember that, don't you? Yeah, it's got the, it's got the old... Uh, here, we'll just do this the easy way. It's got the... It's got the hypo uh, four cylinder with the dual side draft, uh, uh, whatever those Weber carp things on there. The white on red, pretty cool. Well, I found another very, very rare car. This is, I know you don't see it yet, but this is a Pacer SS. Look at that right there. Very rare. I think the guy changed out the stock wheels. For some custom wheels. But what year is this? 76 or something? I, I forget. But uh, yeah, look at that. It's an SS. SS Pacer. Wow, look at that. Oh, look at what's that license plate say. Uh oh, oh boy. We better check out there first. What's it? Oh, it says SS on the grill too. What's that say? What's that say? Whoa, does that say 396? No. Can't be a 396 and a Pacer. Oh my God, look at that. 76 Pacer SS 396. We got some spark plug wires and heater holes, radiator holes, some brake lines. They just go down there. I don't have it 
plumbed underneath. I've got the wire looms, some old photo etch ones I've had for years. I was going to do a throttle, but you can't really see it. So, got battery cables, got the Delco battery in it, got the overflow tank, I guess, and the washer thing. Uh, I made the little heater unit there out of something in the parts box. I had to cut it in half so it would fit. Real fun build. I had a lot of fun doing this. Wasn't planning on doing the SS, but it just started rolling, and I'm like, heck, why not? It's got the big block in it. Put the decals on the motor, and thought, well, damn. You might as well do it on the car and make a really rare Pacer SS. Those are Impala SS emblems there. If I could hold still, you could probably see it better. There you go. I was going to put the SS, like, on the Chevelle. But this is newer, so I thought we'd go that route. And then underneath, we got the... I, I was going to do a solder exhaust so it would bend around and flow, but I just figured I'd do it that way. It looks pretty good. Uh, ends at the rear axle. And, and then uh, I'm lazy, so I did this motor, and then I realized there was a hole in it where you mount it in whatever kit this came in. There was a hole right there. So I just put the... Uh, Chevy flag emblem from like a Malibu or whatever over the hole so took care of that problem so that worked out pretty good so anyway that is the Pacer SS it's got the velour interior uh, inserts I think we showed you and the velour in the back and, and the speaker grills we talked about and uh put the emblems in the back and did the rear tail lights the bare metal foil didn't turn out that great i don't know why what i did wrong it wouldn't lay down smooth it just uh, looks kind of goofy but it's good enough for me if i don't know the direction i was going at the beginning i'd have tried to make it an all better but uh it looks pretty good Looks pretty good. Those wheels and tires on there. It's got a nice stance to it. And, uh, you know, I did it underneath the hood there. No stripes on this. Kind of a, you got to look at it to, plus those SS, you kind of really have to look to see the SS emblems there. So that makes it kind of cool. You don't really notice it at first. And it doesn't say the motor, except if you look at the license plate and the, emblem in the front on the grill like what you see on a uh, on a real SS Chevelle thing there anyway that was cool it was a lot of fun so now we got the SS Pacer and the SS che Chevette and so I needed to get another gremlin because I have a gremlin that I've shown before but I need to get the gremlin kit again and make an SS gremlin I mean what the heck why not you know Okay, I think that's about it. Uh, again, uh, you got to go check out Don's Garage. God, I love that card. Man, makes you want to build another one of those trucks. Because, uh, well, actually, I have one almost done. It'll probably, it might show up for Friday morning model cars and coffee. And then you got to go check out the uh, T14438 guy. Again, I couldn't find his name. I could have watched more videos, I guess. But I watched all his car ones, uh, that kits that he's built. But uh, nice, uh, nice stuff. I found him. He asked me a question in one of the comments on one of my videos, and I didn't recognize it. So I, so I went to him and looked him up. And uh, damn nice channel, but only 58 subs. So we gotta, we gotta build that up for him. Okay, uh, I think I'm good. I got one more thing to show you here, but uh, I think I have to get the phone out of the uh, holder here so we can get a better angle at it. But, you know, it is what it is, but unfortunately, you know, the only way I ever get a new kit is if uh, my kids buy me one or my nephew buys me one. And the last new kit I got, you saw a video, uh, was up at my sister's and my nephew was there and he gave me a kit. Well, I was up there again yesterday or uh, Friday. I don't know if this will post today, Saturday or tomorrow, Sunday, but I was up there Friday. Let me pull back here a little bit. 
and he gave me another kit this bad boy right here he has the Hawaiian uh, he's building it yeah, decals weren't on his yet and I was freaking out over it and uh, he whipped this out and we were looking at this because it has a different chassis than the Hawaiian we, we were kind of checking it out how you know it's two completely different kits uh, I think the bodies are the same maybe because this kit the hood is separate like like a real like a real car not like a actual funny car and it's got the offset uh, it's got the offset interior or the where the driver sets and it's got a wide frame to it uh, it's pretty good. Hopefully the decals work. He gave me another kit like this and uh, the decals were all cracked and old. I didn't even try it. I think, I don't know if I've shown that or not. Maybe I will. But, uh, pretty neat kit. Uh, let me see if I can open it here. Alright, hang on guys. I want to make you sick. <laughs> Let's go for a ride. We'll look at it real quick. Uh, Instructions, you know, they're all there. But here's the decals, and I think they're going to be all right. Uh, I don't have quite that color, but I think I have something close enough. If this color here is that dark, uh, I think it'll be close enough to match that and put the decals on it and stuff. But, like I said with the paster, whenever he gives me a kit, I'm usually excited about it and I jump right on it. So that's probably what I'm going to do with this while I'm working on that uh, 29 Roadster that, that uh, I've shown in progress with. But, uh, yeah, see that? The, the hood is uh, separate. I think some funny cars actually were like that back in the day when they were first starting out. But, uh, but yeah, it's a nice kit. It's all sealed. Uh, I mean, there's that frame in there. Let me show you. See how wide? And, and, and the frame's all one piece. You don't got to glue the two halves together, which is nice. The Hawaiian that he has, it's got the the narrower frame, and you had to glue the two halves together. So, And there's that uh, interior tub. That's the bottom of it right there, which is kind of cool. And so I'm, I'm, there's the hood. Very interesting. So yeah, I'm going to start working on this sucker right away because it's pretty cool. There's the chrome and the wheels and everything. And I don't have very many funny cars. And hopefully the decals work out on this so I can get it right. Uh, that other one, I, I made different decals. I'll show it to you next video when I do an update on this. Nice slicks and the glass. Anyway, that's pretty cool. I opened it up or... So we could look at something when I was up at his house there. But this one's still sealed with the body in it. So I'm pretty excited about that. Again, I don't know what i do without my kids and my nephew. And my sister, she's always buying me little things to paint and stuff. So, so I really appreciate it from them. Oh yeah, one more thing. Where are we at? Yeah. One more thing I wanted to say to everybody out there. Uh... Yeah, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of, I don't know how to say anything, or hang on, I'm going to put you back in there, or what to say, but I, I got to let you guys know I really appreciate it, but that uh, Papa's Model Car Room appreciation build thing that uh, I believe uh, Rob over there at Time Machine Scale Models started uh yeah that really caught me off guard uh it's very uh, humbling uh very flattering very uh very appreciative very uh yeah i, I don't know what else to say guys uh it's just uh, it's pretty cool and i really appreciate it and the guys that are taking part in it the builds you're doing are amazing i mean you nailed what I like. All of you guys did. They're just awesome. They're just perfect. My favorite cars, my favorite kits, my favorite build style. Uh, you guys nailed it. You guys nailed it. Uh, so, uh, I, don't, I don't, you know, you guys probably all seen them 
posting videos on it. Uh, well, I can't. Uh, Mike's, uh, uh, whatever his channel's called. See, I'm all nervous now and flustered, so I can't think of anything. Uh, so you guys have to go find it and check out what they're building. But one's a 40 Ford Coupe. Uh, one's a Bonneville uh, racer from that chopped uh, 27 or whatever it is. Uh, T thing that you can build uh, two different ways. Uh, he built that. Then he built a gasser thing. And then, uh, oh crap, what did uh, what did Rob build? See, I can't remember nothing. I'm all flustered now. I'm sorry. I apologize. But, uh, damn, that, that ticks me off. I can't remember. I got too many cars in my head now. I looked at Pacers and Chevettes and talked about Bonneville cars and and uh, 27s and funny cars. So, anyway... They're, they're posting uh, videos in progress and finish, so uh, check out their builds. They're really cool, uh, exactly the kind of stuff I really like, so I enjoyed watching them build them. And the one's not finished yet, and I'm looking forward to that, seeing it when it's done. But I really appreciate it, guys. Really uh, very humbling, very appreciative of it. Uh, it was a really nice thing to do, and I appreciate it. So... Anyway, that's everything I needed to say. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and the very rare SS Pacer there. And until the next video, when we take a little trip back in time, everybody take care. Thank you to all my subscribers. If you don't subscribe, please do. Uh, check things out. It's a lot of fun. And uh, check out everybody else's videos on here, guys, if you haven't yet. Uh, lots of cool stuff. So anyway, everybody take care. Thanks again. And we'll talk at you in a few days. Bye.